All right, everyone, welcome to another video. This is the sixth question, create an nth Fibonacci number finder. We're gonna be given a integer input n, which is greater than negative one, create a program that outputs the nth Fibonacci number. For example, um, the zeroth Fibonacci number is zero, the first Fibonacci is one, tenth is 55, 19th is 4,181. So for this one, or in this video, what I've done was I'm gonna show you the solution right away, which if kind of follow the formula. So the Fibonacci number of n is calculated by taking the n minus one and adding the Fibonacci of n minus two all together, okay? With knowing and initializing and knowing that Fib at zero is zero and Fib of one is one, okay? We're gonna be um, simulating that calculation in our Python code. So we need an input first. What I did was I created a variable called upper underscore limit and we got an uh, int input for our n. Okay. Then I initialized fib of zero, fib of one, just like um, what the the what the Fibonacci function does in mathematics. We are now writing it into our code that fib zero and we initialize this variable is initialized to zero to start off and fib of one to one. And what we're gonna do is to well to calculate n, we're gonna grow from zero and one. So we're gonna first calculate fib of two, then fib of three and fib of four. And hopefully we can grow to fib of n and get that value. Therefore, we haven't found yet. So we're gonna say currently n is at two. We have found n at one and n at zero. We need to calculate for n at two. So we're gonna say that for n in range of two, we're gonna now calculate and re-update this variable to equal to fib of one and fib of zero. The two prior values, if we were to start at two, Therefore, I calculated fib at two. Then as soon as after that calculation is done, I'm gonna prepare my Fibonacci um, set value so that this variable fib of zero is gonna take fib of one. So that n minus two becomes the current n minus one because we need to calculate that fib of n is equal to fib of n minus one plus fib of n minus two, all right? And then I'm gonna set fib of underscore one to set to my current fib of n so that I can calculate the next Fibonacci number properly. So these two lines are preparing us for the next and this one finds the current nth Fibonacci number by taking and adding the two prior numbers that we have found and adding them up, okay? So after this for loop is done, we have included upper limit because we need to calculate that nth Fibonacci number. So we will have our Fibonacci of n to be that value. So if we were to execute our code, all right, and let's look for the 10th, it's gonna give us 55. And if we were to do 19th, it's gonna be 4181, all right? So this is a pretty complicated problem of with a lot of variable updates. So what we're gonna do is actually analyze this in Python visualizer. And I've already copied the code and ran it. And right now it's waiting for our input and we're gonna to try to calculate for the 10th Fibonacci number. Okay, and as our execution goes, we will be creating our variable. So we set upper limit to 10. It's gonna initialize fib of zero to zero, fib of one to one, and fib of n to zero, because we haven't found it yet. With those three variables initialized, and our, we're given our upper limit of 10, now we are gonna go into our for loop. We're gonna let n be two so that we can calculate fib of two. Then we're gonna use that to calculate fib of three and so forth. So when n is two, our fib of n gets calculated to one, and then we start prepping for the next Fibonacci number. So fib of zero turns to one, and fib of one stays as one, all right? Because um, fib of n was one. And at this point, we get to say that, well, fib of n is now the addition of fib of one plus fib of zero, so we get one plus one. So n of three is gonna have a fib n of two, and notice we're gonna start growing. And as we go, n of four is gonna have a fib n of three. If it's n of five, it's gonna fib n of five, and we're gonna continuously update these two values so that we can now get the next number. All right, so fib of n, at six is gonna be five plus three, that's, that's gonna give us eight, boom. And we're gonna to continue to do this until we hit 10. So N is 10 now, 
okay? Fifth of zero is 21. That means that um, fifth of eight is 21 and fifth of nine is 34. So we add those up and fifth of n becomes 55. And because this still preps the next number, it's gonna change, but n is now, has ran out of values to represent from a range from two to upper limit plus one. So it exits the loop and we get to now do our formatted print. So we'll say Fibonacci of 10 is 55. Okay. So that was a quick visualization of our solution for the Fibonacci function, where it will find the nth Fibonacci number for us. Okay. So I hope you enjoyed that video and as always stay classy.